All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on, everybody? Real quick, um, wanted to just talk and hit on a few things as we get closer to July. Uh, we start to get into the summer and it starts to uh, people start to go away. Things start to slow down a little bit in July. But real quick, I think it's important for people to know the market remains strong. Um, I want to let people know why, because everybody just talks about, oh, the market's so good for sellers. But what is the reason the market is so strong? A couple quick points so that you guys are educated and can understand if you're a seller, if you're an investor, if you're a first time buyer, like what are the reasons this market's so strong? The first reason is obvious. Number one, inventory is low. We are super low on inventory on a year over year basis. The last three years alone have been seller's markets, but this year is even worse. It's exasperated by the fact that inventory is at a super low level. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, wherever we are here in New England, that number is, is extremely low. That's number one. Number two, rates are really low. When interest rates are low, buying power increases. What that means is the buyer that could afford 250K at an interest rate that's 100 basis points higher, which means 1% higher than where we are today, right? Now can afford a much higher, a much higher amount. So their payment may be the same, but their purchasing power may go up to 300, 325, 350K. That's number two, right? Number three, buyer demand remains constant and increasingly, it, it increases at a regular basis, right? So what does that mean? It means that demand, right? There's a lot of buyers looking for houses. First time buyers continue to strike out. So what that means is it screws up. There's a bottleneck on the chain, right? So if a first time buyer can't buy a house, that move up buyer can't sell, sell their house and that downsizer can't sell their house. So we need more inventory on that low level, right? On that, that entry level pricing so that buyers, more buyers can get in the game and we can kind of see the domino effect. And the last reason, which I think may be one of the first things to change is the moratorium on foreclosures and the moratorium on, on auctions and the lack there of short sales because values are so high has significantly impacted the amount of volume and the amount of listings in this market. At some point, the federal government cannot continue to kick the can down the road. And what I mean by that is that moratorium or those moratoriums must be lifted. When they get lifted, the pipeline of, of assets, the pipeline of houses that will hit the market should significantly increase the supply right away, which is good for investors, which is good for starter homes, which is good for everyone. It makes a much more healthy market. So when people tell you, yes, the market's so hot, it, it, it is, but you need to understand why so you can understand when and how it will change. Guys, I hope that's helpful as we move closer to July. Hopefully anyone that was a father had a great Father's Day. If you're, uh, if you're becoming a father, you know, you'll have many more Father's Day to come. Otherwise, guys, have a fantastic rest of the week. Just want to give you a quick tidbit, some quick info on the real estate market overall and the current sea of the market. Thank you.